Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. God bless you. Uh, this is a uh, prophet shepherd M. Mesala. Viewers all over the world, I just want to share with you the few prophecies of 2023. As you know, this year God gave us a revelation that this year is the year for the children of God. I said something, say this year is not a good year for Zambia and Nigeria. A lot of people, they were celebrating in Nigeria, thinking the opposition will win those elections. But some of us who saw it in the spirit, we knew, say, it is not a good year for them because their expectation is not what will come out viewers all over the world prophets will speak when god has told us to speak as i told you the favor and the grace of God has moved out from Nigeria. This is why you saw many Nigerian prophets, or if I can say all oh, Nigerian prophets, they failed to see who is winning the elections in their own country because they all prophesied saying it is the opposition winning but god spoke to me saying the ruling will be declared the winner this is the reason why i said it is not a good year for nigerians because they shall protest there will be a lot of confusions which shall come in that nation of Nigeria. Let's keep praying for Nigeria. Let's pray for them. The grace of God has moved out from Nigeria. This is the reason why even the prophetic in the nation of Nigeria it has been shattered down by God. God wants to raise a new generation in the ministry. So 2023 prophecies. God showed me an African plan. An African plan had to crash it crashed and people were mourning their beloved ones who were boarding 
on that fright. I know the country, but it's so sensitive because in that brain there will be even some people who are more or who are having sensitive position in the society this plane crash it will be a plane which shall be trending on all social medias because the way it will happen it will be a disaster this is africa africa this is in africa i'm saying africa the plane will crash in africa this plane will crash in africa and many will mourn it is it is too close to happen very close to happen god showed me this and i'm about to pray about it and see the mercy of god how things will be i talked of the floods which shall move from one nation to another and many of you you saw this on videos you saw this on blogs let me not talk about this because these are things which are happening so let's forge ahead and hear what god is speaking there is there is a zambian Vroga. I can call a Zambian Vroga who has been fighting people, fighting people, criticizing people, and doing all kind of things. There is a disaster which is about to happen. To that vroga a Zambian vroga based in Lusaka Zambia his time is up it is for him to seek the mercy of God it's like many have complained about him but he is failing to understand but what i saw put him in prayer put him in prayer so that his soul is in god's hand listen this prophet carefully this vroga many have complained about this vroga his time has finished those who have ears hear this word and those who knows him let him come and seek mercy and prayer so that his soul is in God's hand. This is the word of prophecy and the word of prophecy when it is delivered some will criticize it some who accept it but in all the word of god comes to pass
So, this vroga, he needs God. This vroga has the history of going to study Bible theology abroad. And when he went abroad, he felt the Bible theology and entered into the world. So this is what I'm speaking. It is the word coming from God. He has the history to start Bible, to start God's word, and he failed to work for God. But God is telling me this person is less on earth, is finished. He needs God. He needs God now. He needs God. When you see the word of God is coming, take it. Learn with it. I'm, I'm going to Kawe. I'm going to Kawe. In Kawe, there is something God is showing me. There is, there is a group of Satanists who had a meeting last week in Kawe. What they are planning, it is to start getting children and start sacrificing them in order to preserve their businesses. This is Kawe. I'm seeing a person being found naked in Kawe. And this person, and this person is connected to more influential people. To more influential people in Kawe, this person he shall be found naked in the town because we are praying for Kawe and their agenda of start getting children for sacrifice it shall not prevail we are praying for Kawe 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 there is a group of satanists who are trying to start getting children for sacrifice so they have already moved in the town they have already moved in town they have already planted their witchcraft powers they have already sent cars which they want to be getting those children but god is saying they shall be exposed So I'm warning all the witches in Kabul. If you are in Kabul, you are watching me. Share this video if you are watching me in Kabul. Because I'm warning the witches in Kabul. Let that agenda be stopped before I come to that city. Because if you will proceed with that agenda, of trying to be uh, getting children and sacrificing children the time i'll visit the city of kawe i'll be just mentioning names 
and pointing saying it is this one and this one and this one and this one i'm here owning all the witches in the whole this country of zambia especially those in cover with that agenda you will see what will happen those children you will not eat them you will not eat the children so kawe we are protecting it in jesus name when i go to kapidi in kapidi there is a ghost which has risen in kapidi there is a woman who has risen in kapiri she has come to revenge she has come to revenge of what has been happening share this video wherever you are listening me from if you are listening me from kawe you are listening me from kapiri you are listening me from sorwezi if you are watching me from lusaka share the video because i'm prophesying town to town and the nation at large so that you know what is happening in your nation so this woman will be getting men if you are attracted to, to 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 this woman the woman will kill you either with suicide either you go and sleep and you don't wake up or you just disappear just like that as i am speaking this woman is busy getting men and men are dying in in kapiri this is kapiri mponshi in Kapiri Bonshi, central province of uh, Zambia, this witch, this ghost is already there. Getting men and men are dying. And they are not understanding why are these men dying. They don't know saying when they sleep with this ghost, when they go and drink, they become attracted and they sleep with this ghost. <laughs> they will find that they will fail even to to uh, to wake up they will just die just like that this is what is going on the lord spoke to me and the lord revealed to me and i am praying for kapili ponshi kapili ponshi Zambia needs prayers. Zambia needs prayers. A dark crowd has covered this nation. There will be dangerous things which will begin to happen in the country, which will be more spiritual, and a lot of people will be very shocked will be very shocked of what will be happening in the city when i go to solwezi northwestern province the lord was showing me something in solwezi and this what the lord was showing me in solwezi the lord was showing me something in northwestern province and the thing god was showing me in solwezi god was showing me that there is there are witches there are witches which have planted the spirits of stagnation in this town of northwestern province and this is solwezi so when the lord was taking me to solwezi the lord was showing me revelations on northwestern province and these revelations were so strong what the lord was showing me because i saw when you are just entering in solwezi 
There is a place when you just leech there at Mitek. If you wear with clothes, they will begin to see you naked. Northwestern province. And the Lord was showing me this. Immediately you just enter Mitek place, going to Sorezi Bridge there. As long as you have passed that stage, they will see you to be naked. Why are they seeing you naked? You have left all your blessings just like there. This is the reason why it's not possible for Solwezi to produce a prophet when he is in that city because they cross the all prophetic. They cross the all prophetic. They don't want anyone to see what is happening in Sorezi. So when you reach me take with buses or with cars or with your personal cars, or maybe you come with a flight, by the time you will pass Mitek, you will pass Sorez Bridge, you have dropped your blessings. You shall be left without anything. And you will not notice. And this is what has been happening in Sorezi. So we need to pray for Northwestern province. Otherwise the city can't develop because of those witches which they planted. Northwestern province, it is a land of ancestral spirits. Northwestern, Sorezi, a land of ancestral spirits. That land needs deliverance. That land of Northwestern, it was dedicated to be a land of ancestors. So the land of ancestors, it just needs to be cleaned. When we clean that land, then you shall see people who will start uh, prospering in that city of Sorezi. So Sorezi needs a revival. This is the reason why you see you are a man of God in Northwestern province, but you are still suffering with a, a lot of storms, either financially, either health-wise, either no children, either you find you are a pastor in Northwestern province, but you are still poor. You are still suffering. You are still having a lot of challenges. And you come to think of it. This is a land which has got a huge population of workers who are working in Kansanch mine, who are working in Kalumbila mine, who are working in Lumwana mine. It has a huge population of workers, plus government workers. You find that a land is just the same is not developing. Why is the land not developing? Because it is a land of ancestral spirits. So we need to pray for Northwestern province, especially Solwezi, where there is an headquarter of ancestral spirits. Mm -hmm. And you shall see the blessings of God coming upon Northwestern. So these are the prophecies the Lord was speaking in this nation of Zambia, in this nation of Zambia. When I come to Lusaka, the Lord was speaking to me. The Lord took me to go into parliament. I was taken in parliament when i reached in parliament i saw charms charms in parliament the zambian parliament mm -hmm. the zambian parliament god was showing me there was fire fire was inside and the fire was burning 
-hmm. And after the fire was burning, I saw in the realms of the spirit where one member of parliament died and this had to shock the whole nation and this had to shock the whole nation and this was happening whereby no one was expecting that there would be an empty seat in a in parliament and then a death came and when the death came there was something suspicious which was happening just within the members of parliament because as i am speaking the members of parliament they are not with god they are challenging one another with charms now the charms will backfire and the charms will start uh, attacking them attacking them i'm speaking on the mps i'm speaking about the ministers zambian mps zambian ministers this is what the lord was showing me the other prophets which god was showing me in the nation of zambia it was dead bodies dead bodies other people were just found they are dead i spoke about this when i was talking of uh, uh when i was talking about uh uh um saying that you shall find dead bodies just being dumped in the city and this prophecy came to pass where you saw a lot of dead bodies being dumped in the city i am a prophet whatever i speak comes to pass and uh, whatever i speak comes to pass and whatever i speak shall definitely come to pass if you check my track record you will find that i've never missed a prophecy i have never missed a prophecy and now never because whatever i speak will come to happen whatever i speak will come to happen if prayers have never been taken so seriously if prayers Will never be taken so serious so i saw dead bodies again but these dead bodies will not be dumped but they will be just be found in this one dead this one dead this one dead and people will be like uh what are these things why are these things happening why are these things happening that's what people will be asking but the answer is let's come back to god and we shall see the blessings of god this is prophet mesala speaking i know some people they some people they they like referring me to another man of god who looks like me and what he is doing they think like it is me this is prophet mesala prophet mesala is different from other men of god so hear this what i'm speaking and you shall see uh, what uh, god is speaking child of god these prophecies pray for them pass through and you shall see these things start happening in this nation of Zambia.
There is a prophecy which God showed me saying he will be hunger for three years. Let me tell you, this prophecy of hunger for three years, don't take it as if it is a joke. We are interceding so that the hunger can be minimized because according to what the Lord showed me, in other countries, people will be dying because of hunger. So we are praying for the nation of Zambia. We are praying for this nation of Zambia. So these are prophecies which the Lord told me to share with you. I've spoken about Kawe. I've spoken about Lusaka. I've spoken about Solwezi. I've spoken about Kapirimponshi. And let me speak about Copper Belt. Copper Belt, we need to pray for the city to be revived. We need to pray. I'm seeing soil covering a group of people in in uh, in in the copper belt soil covering a group of people i don't know if this will be black mountain covering them i don't know but what i see i see it on news where soil has covered a lot of people children of god Wherever you are and wherever you are listening me from, I took time for me to release prophecies this year because I was seeking the mercy from God. So this is in copper belt. Copper belt. And there will be people who will be knocking to your doors in the copper belt. And when you open the door, you are gone. And these people and these people who will be doing this they will be doing this to destabilize to destabilize the peace of the country you will be hearing they knock on the door in the copper belt and the people when they open your gun they attack you either they harm you these are the things which will be happening in the copper belt. I'm seeing people stop sleeping. And they begin only to protect themselves. And these things will be happening in the copper belt. Where people now begins only to, to protect themselves. Will be happening, you hear a knock, even with the voice of a person whom you even know, but they have just tricked you. These things will be happening in the copper belt, and there is a group of people I'm seeing whom they have given charms to start eating the human flesh, just as we eat meat, as we eat other food, eating not with not in magic but eating physically so this nation of zambia it needs prayers it is it needs prayers it needs prayers the nation of zambia zambia needs prayers more than more than anything for now, it needs prayers. It needs prayers. Are we moving as a nation? Yes, we are moving. Is this government going to deliver? This will be a talk of, of another day. Is this new government 
is a David or a Saul, this will be a talk of another day. But what is needed is to pray for this nation of Zambia. I saw Zambian crying, crying with tears, mourning. Why are they mourning? Is there anyone dead? No. But why are they mourning? They need prayers. They need prayers for them to be redeemed from the pit where they are. Prophet speaks in parables and prophet speaks the mind of God. We need to pray. It's only prayer which shall set free the nation of Zambia. Let me speak on South Africa. If we have people from South Africa watching this broadcast, just comment saying I'm watching from South Africa I was here prophesying of a superstar dying in South Africa and we saw what happened on that musician I don't even know him I was just seeing people are sharing he, a musician because I don't follow these secular artists but God showed me this I think I talked about it and these things came to pass in South Africa, but I see a government official being gunned down in South Africa. In South Africa, I see a government official being gunned down in South Africa. It will be this one, down, this one, down, and the country will need God. Will need God. Just as Zambia should honor men of God, honor prophets for them to pros for them to prosper. Without honoring God, you can't prosper as a nation. You can't prosper, no matter how intelligent you can be. Without honoring God, you can't move. You saw what happened. Let me tell you something. There was a time a government minister in the nation of Zambia insulted me on phone. And this government minister, in this new dawn government, I'm speaking on new dawn government. There was a government minister in the new dawn government insulted me on phone over a certain document which was only for a TV station for Nesala TV. This minister called me and started insulting me. Listen very carefully. I don't know why where other people get powers to start insulting men of God. I started laughing. The minister was very vocal when she called me. I don't even know why she got my number because some of us, our numbers are so private. I know that. The minister insulted me. And after she did that, I laced the case on the nation of Zambia. I raised the case on the administration because of being proud for nothing. I raised the case. And when that case came over the nation, you saw what started happening in January. You saw what started happening. The whole nation started insulting the 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 the, the, 
the, the, the, the, the current government until they apologized for the insult they did and I removed that case because I am not just a prophet who can just stand and begin to alter things which I have not seen when they apologized for that insult which one of their team did I, I, I released I revoked the 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 case because it takes one prophet to declare one word and that word will come to pass and the word will come to pass you know you have met a lot of prophets you have met a lot of men of God some who are comedians some who wants 50 kwacha some who wants 20 kwacha and some who wants 100 kwacha so many of the people they think prophets they are the same and one lady is saying you know you can't kiss a person because god doesn't work like that the thing is you don't read the word of god you are forgetting saying Elijah stopped the rains for three years. You are forgetting saying a prophet cursed the children when they, when they were laughing at the prophet. The problem is you have mingled much with men of God who, who worships you when you give them 50 kwacha. So you think, oh, the pastors can be controlled. My daughter... The word of God is not in jokes. Ask us who walk with God. A prophet can speak a curse on a nation and the nation can be cursed. And you find that things can happen. So this is what is happening. A prophet can also bless a nation and a nation can be blessed so the word of God can come to happen in all angles so get this word if I was joking why did they came to apologize because they came to apologize for what the minister did just as he's saying like Elisha Lead this word very carefully. Don't just get when they are prophesying you, you get married tomorrow. You think the word of God is only about being prophesied that you get married tomorrow. The word of God is not only being prophesied that you get married tomorrow, you get a job tomorrow, you, 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 you get a child tomorrow, and you think like the prophetic is only, is only, in pro being prophesied that you will get married and because of these comedians of prophets you meet every day they are saying yo this is your boyfriend will marry you tomorrow you are thinking the word of god is only in uh, 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 being prophesied like that a prophet can curse a nation a prophet can speak a case on a nation and the nation goes under a case and the prophet can revoke that case a prophet is a spiritual being whom God honors whatever comes from his mouth that is a prophet a prophet is not a pastor who, who preaches the Bible theology So child of God, take this prophetic serious because you will see these things happening. I remember when I was prophesying, saying Haka Inde Hichlema will be the president of Zambia. A lot of people, they were laughing. They were mocking. I was the first prophet who gave a prophecy 
saying government will change and his excellence will be the president of Zambia. I was the first one to prophesy about this. And it came to pass. When there was no sign, when no one saw it, that this thing can come to happen, I saw it. And I talked about it. And it is on YouTube. You can watch it. So when I stand, I'm speaking. I know what I'm speaking about. When I stand, I'm talking. I am not looking for money. I have money already. I have money. This is the reason why I can't even look for money from a politician. Because God has blessed me with money already. When I stand, I'm speaking. I'm, I'm delivering God's work. I'm speaking what God wants to be delivered. So child of God, this is the word of prophetic which the Lord showed me today. And this is what I have delivered. Those who wants to take it serious, take it serious. Those who wants to take it with jokes, take it as jokes. But it will come to pass. And it will come to pass. It shall come to pass. And you shall see it coming to pass. This is the word of the Lord. May God bless you. And may God be with you. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Savage. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.